Good morning, everybody. Um, and welcome back to the Kamadawa Chronicles. Today is the day that Mayel moved in. I should have recorded uh, Isabel saying that, but I did not. <laughs> because I actually won like a little um, giveaway kind of thing, like quiz giveaway thing on Facebook. So I hopped onto my switch for the first time to collect look at all this look at all this money i have guys wait no where there we go i got moonies how great is that anyway that's not the point <laughs> today mail moves in we're gonna go take a look at the outside of her house are you excited i'm excited let's see Oh, cute. Very red. Very her. I like how it's like the same... I don't know. Shape. <laughs> Let's go say hello. Oh, cute. It's like a little park in here. Hi, Mayel. Oh, Cheyenne, you must have rushed right over to see me, darling. I just got here today. I must say, our time at the campsite was so special. I can't thank you enough for inviting me to move here. No problem. Alas, this room isn't going to organize itself, but I should have everything unpacked today. So let's spend some quality time together soon, duckling. Thanks, Mayel. Okay, well, let's go see if we can... So she's got like an parky, outdoorsy theme inside. And her house is very red. Let's see if we can kind of finagle something outside. I don't... Hmm, I don't want to change too much about the pink and white roses, but maybe I'll just add some red ones. Let's see how that looks. Oh, bell tree. Yes, I know. I saw this um video that was like a fake trailer for all of the like quality of life fixes that um should exist in the game. Uh and it was amazing and made me want all of those things. No. What the heck? Well, let's go plant two, and then I guess we'll go buy a, a new shovel. Yeah, so what if we just put some red around as well? Does it clash too much? Is there too many colors going on? I feel like over here it's a nice kind of accent, and then over here we can, can kind of like... What is it? Transition into more red? So maybe I'll add another red and like swap out the pink a little. What happened? Did I? Oh, <laughs> I replaced something. I gotta fix that later. Uh, I noticed when I was, <laughs> when I was uh, l listening or like watching one of my videos the other day that I sniffle a lot, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else noticed, but I noticed and it bothers me. I'll try to sniffle less. It's not like I have a cold or anything. I, I think it's just because I wear glasses that they kind of like um, push in on my nose and then make me need to sniffle. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what I feel is happening in my heart of hearts. Oh, I gotta check. Ooh, snazzy bed. That's the imperial one, right? It's gonna be like a ridiculous amount of bells. Oh. That is reasonable, actually. Sure. I guess I'll buy it. I don't really have any plans for it, but I know there's a lot of people that want that kind of thing, so. Oh, yeah, 
yeah, I'll buy it for my concert area. Maybe Quilson would like a saxophone. Sure, why not? I have the other one, so I feel like I could use them together. A metronome, cute. I'm just like buying everything today. Maybe it's I'm all I'm all uh, hyped up from winning that thing. <laughs> Do I need a fax machine? Nah, I think I'm okay. Okay, what are your turnip prices today, dude? Mm. Okay. Is anybody else using Turnip Profit? Because that's what I use. Um, and they said that I should have like. All right, so it gives like a bunch of different options for at the beginning. And then it like slowly works its way down of like which kind of path you're on. So the most likely one was a big spike, so I might have a larger spike. Do I have that already? I think I have that already. I might have a larger spike um later this week, I think. Okay. Just gonna like while I'm filming this video I'm putting it into turn up profit so I don't forget because otherwise I will forget that it was 114 114 yeah it says it's definitely gonna be a large spike and Wednesday morning my bell price could go all the way up to 576 dang so tomorrow morning oh it's 1111 make a wish I wish for high turnip prices tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully we'll we'll get real lucky. And then maybe I can have a bunch of people over. I think that's a really exciting thing. I like that shovel today. It's cute. Okay. Play with some more red roses. And then we can think about what kind of thing to put outside of her house. And by think about, I mean we can go look at the stuff I have and see if any of those options are reasonable. <laughs> So what if we take you out and make you red? I feel like that's cute. Like they all have little rose gardens. And then it'll like slowly transition over. It's a secret who this is gonna be, but maybe their rose color will change too. Hoo hoo. Oh, let's go see Miranda and see if she's put out her tea set that I gave her like days ago. Oh, she has! It's on a little antique table. I would have expected her to put it over here, but that's very cute. I'm a fan. Why are you reading in the middle of the room, girl? Why don't you sit on your couch? I guess your table's in the way. You can't fit. <laughs> I'm so very happy you stopped by, babe. Let's talk. I wanted to ask, do you and Mimi know each other? That's literally the girl who came over and um, dropped off monies. <laughs> Their visit from, I don't know how to, gang? Gang? I don't know how to pronounce it if it's like gay and G or gang. The the giveaway was on like one of the LGB, LGBT community um, Animal Crossings. So I don't know exactly how to pronounce this one, but maybe something gay. <laughs> Their visit from gang 
piqued my curiosity, of course. I've no idea where they've gone to. Perhaps they're back to relaxing on their own island, babe. I think they are. Do you have anything else to say to me? Why, well, is there something I can help you with? I don't have any present for you today, sorry. What's the latest? You can't just throw a bunch of furniture together and call it style, you know. Even I made a few ill-advised decor choices in my youth, I must admit. <laughs> okay. You're cute. And you, you're not making any ill-advised decor choices now. Your house is awesome. Although I do wish your... What is this called? Oh my god, guys. What is that called? Harp. Jesus. Your harp... I feel should match your other types of wood, but that's my only critique here. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, let's go see if we have any stuff that we can give. And let's go see if we can give a friggin' present to Derwin. We've been trying to forever. Looks like he's at home now. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna drop this other present. This is for Keaton. But Lord knows I'll get confused. Okay, Derwin. I don't have any wrapping paper. I gotta buy more wrap. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Can't talk. I have to buy more wrapping paper. Derwin, can we give you a present? Ah, buongiorno. Welcome to my palace. Yes, finally. This is for you. Ke Kel? Kel, surprise. Your music is very loud, Coulson. <laughs> what a fun surprise. I'll open this right now. Oh my gosh. Is this really a mounted black bass? It is. I've always wanted something like that. It's weird that you knew. I can't wait to find just the right spot for it back at Casa de Quilson. We're in your house right now. I can't let you walk away empty-handed after you're so generous to me. Here, you gotta take this reg regalin shirt. Okay, thanks. Hopefully we can see him put that up later. I don't know if it happens like instantaneously or if it takes a day. Let's see what this is. Oh, cute. It's like a uni key. What do I even have in here? I have a drawing rack, saxophone. I just bought all that stuff. And a bed. What? Uh, about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Y'all, my brain. Tank, good job getting your stretches in. What did I get in the mail? Oh, something from Tank. Dear Sweetkins, Sometimes I hear others talking about training their brains, but I have no idea what to lift to work my brain muscles. I'm kind of worried I'm going to fall, fall behind. Help. <laughs> oh, Tank. Tank is the next to go. That's really sad. He was my first villager. Um, him and Rocket. Oh, look at my... I worked on this last night. I'm trying to make sure I have like all the flowers. And so I'm making rainbows in my backyard. <laughs> but I'm missing some red stuff that I sold <laughs> in a like frantic attempt to get rid of my millions of extra flowers. I forgot to keep one of each, so I gotta rebuy. Oh, I gotta check. I gotta check the cranny for that today. Okay, let's see if we have anything that suits her outdoor area. Tricycle, not really. Mm. Nothing really. This velvet stool, I could put something on top of it, maybe? And then that might be cute. She could also be the dog owner. I could move the dog. Oh gosh, I keep hitting my microphone. Not keep, that was the first time. This this episode, but many times in the past. She could be the fortune-telling one. She looks pretty 
I don't know. Not, not witchy, but I don't know. She looks like maybe she likes fortune telling. <laughs> I don't know where I'm getting that from. There's no basis for that. Okay, let's 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 see what it looks like. We'll take both. Maybe like one is sitting and one is for putting the thing on. Maybe we'll take this table too. And have a peek. Yeah, this is the other champion's pendant. I don't know what I'll do with it, but maybe something. <laughs> let's put away. I want to put that up later. Anytime I'm recording, my my pockets are like an absolute mess. But then any other time when I'm playing this game, they're like in impeccable condition. <laughs> Because I'm, like, a neat freak, but I don't want to bore y'all with me organizing my pockets, so I try not to do too much <laughs> when I'm doing this. Okay, okay. Yeah, so... I... I posted in like a comment or like community post or whatever I don't really know how that works on YouTube but I tried to tell people like I've been having audio problems like um my one of my Quilson videos sounded like actual hot garbage and then two of Mail's videos sounded awful so um I decided to where should I put stuff maybe I should take these away um, I decided to just not post them because I didn't want to post something that like nobody wants to listen to because it sounds terrible and it's weird because it's all like all different kinds of problems like um I don't, I th the first Quilson's one, uh, it was like a bunch of static. And then Mayel's first one, it literally sounded like I was underwater. And then um, her second one sounded just really staticky again or something like that. I don't know. It was... But it was a different kind of staticky than Quilson's. I don't know what's going on with my... Am I stuck? I don't want to pick this white rose. Okay, I guess I'll just use the shovel. Duh. How do we feel about that, guys? Not too close. Do we like that or do we like antique table? I think this really fits her exterior, so I'm happy. I had this. Um, I don't know which one is better. I can't decide. I like how it's like different levels, I guess, in this one. I guess we'll keep this for now. And, um. Plant the roses again. Well, something. Something probably won't fit back there, right? Can I move this over at all? No. Okay. Okay, guys. Well, we are gonna sign off here. For Mael's uh, fifth day, and then we'll come back tomorrow to take a look at her interior and maybe change some things around outside too, or I don't know, do other random stuff. But <laughs> thanks for watching. As always, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>